Welcome back to the Make a Baby podcast. And this is what is the Fertility Reiki series part four. This is conception and connect to your spirit babies and spirit guides. So let's dive in. What is your spiritual team? Your spiritual team is your spirit guides, your spirit babies, God, Mother Earth, ancestors, angels, archangels, anyone on the other side that's not human that you pray to or hold close. And then we add on two words or three words, love and light. And we make that declaration because on the other side, there's many things. And we only want to talk to the love and light part. We don't want to dark. We don't want to talk or tap into the dark. So when we are working with our spiritual team and we're receiving messages from our spiritual team, our spirit babies, our spirit guides, we need to declare that we only want to talk to our spirit guides of love and light, our spirit babies of love and light, our angel babies of love and light super important. So what are spirit guides? Our spirit guides could be a set of guides that travel with us for a lifetime. And usually those range between one and three that are going to go for your entire life. There also could be spirit guides for certain seasons, certain relationships, and a certain time period. So maybe there's a karmic lesson you're learning, living, and that spirit guide's only going to be around for that time. Reiki guides that are with me all of the time. And I work mainly with them and they have replaced my previous spirit guides because they're higher vibration. They're from a different realm. They're a higher frequency than what I had before. There are also ancestors. These are people that lived in your family lineages before you. Now, this can be ancestors that are known to you, unknown to you. And I have had some clients that were adopted. This would also include, this is not just DNA. This is energetics as well. Think of your, so some people may like, nope, that's just blood. Well, families are made up of so many different ways. So you could be adopted. Maybe you don't know your mom, maybe you don't know your dad, or maybe you were conceived. Uh, Maybe you're what's called a donor baby. That is a huge phenomenon now where you don't know the genetic makeup of maybe, maybe you were conceived with a donor egg or donor sperm. So you don't know your family's history on that side. So you have maybe a mom and a dad or two moms or two dads, whatever it may be, that make up your family. How come the people who raised you or brought you into this world, why did their ancestors get discounted? There is energetic contracts you made with their soul and yourself, your soul, that for to teach you, to, to help form you, help shape you. I think bring them all in and then add in the three words, love and light. I call in all of my ancestors, known and unknown to me, that made me, that helped shape me, bring into love and light. And these spiritual team members are to support you in all of the things that we're going to dive into in this episode. So don't discount what you don't see, what you don't know. There are many people in my world that are also using a lot of donor sperm. So ancestors are important. And just because we don't know them doesn't mean that they haven't endured, survived, and brought forth unimaginable strength that made you who you are today and contributed to your brilliance into your existence. Let's invite and celebrate that as well. What are angels? They are from God. They are they're like God's workers. They're the winged people. They are the ones that are doing all of the miracles on the other side. What are archangels? They are it's God, Jesus, and then archangels. So they are pretty up there. They are above the regular angels. So there's um, an army of archangels. Our number one angels that we like to work with are Archangel Michael. He's the most powerful one. And then Gabriel and Raphael. Gabriel is the angel for healing and Raphael is the angel for conception and becoming a mom. So we love to bring in all of their gifts. What are spirit babies? You'll hear me say spirit babies, Reiki babies, angel babies, but spirit babies are the babies that are coming in that have yet to be conceived by you. Angel babies 
what are angel babies? Those are the babies that are, that have been conceived and that we have lost, miscarried or aborted. And that is something that's really important because their souls are important to be remembered and to honor and they have wisdom to be give so that you can conceive what was their experience inside the womb. We want to tap into their experience. I like this saying, prayers go up so blessings can come down. I also like to say prayers go up so answers can come down. And a lot of people have religious trauma, so take everything with a grain of salt. But I'm a big prayer girl, and I don't go to church. I'm a big spiritualist. Um, I believe in the Mother Earth, and I believe God's a woman. And if that's polarizing for you, I'm sorry. That's okay. We can still coexist and believe in different things. I'm here to support you. I think that's really important, but I pray all the time. I started this probably in January, and the more that I prayed, the more defined and clear my mediumship became. The better answers I got in the spirit baby messages, meditations, and channelings I got for clients, the more exact I could zero in on pain in people's wombs. So the more that I prayed, the better of a healer I became, the better of a person I could provide a service to you. And I believe that prayer was a big change for me and how well, I mean, I was good before, but now it's, I feel more connected to myself. I feel more grounded. I feel less burdened. I give it all. and pray. I don't know what to do with this. Take this away. I don't want it. I'm very clear in what I ask for in my prayers. Meditation is where you receive the answers. So prayer is like what, almost setting the intention of like, I don't want X, Y, Z. I'm tired of feeling X, Y, Z. Remove this thing, place, or thing from my life. I command miracles to come in. In the meditation, I sit. I listen. I quiet my mind. I collect my energy. I make sure I can feel my body and I wait to get bored. And then I know I did it. Um, when you're bored, when you're meditating, you know you're doing it right. And then you get answers, the better at it. And if you do a Reiki gut meditation, even if you suck at meditation, you can do all of those things a little bit faster and also get more enlightened messages. Another way to connect to your spiritual team is through Oracle cards. Oracle cards have the messages written on them. You can buy them on Amazon. They range from $10 to... I think like 60-ish dollars, depending on how big the deck is, how like beautiful they are. I like Kyle Gray. It's pretty basic, really easy to use cards. You should come with a booklet and the booklet will have a description of what each card means, more like a more in-depth um, explanation, more than what's on the card. It also could give you different things like called a spread. It will teach you how to maintain the cards, how to cleanse them, how to dedicate them how to work them, how to operate them, that kind of thing. That's that's a whole process. And then you can also ask for signs. And another thing is Akashic Records is you can use Akashic Records to talk to them as well. And they will give you insight to your past lives, your future lives, your current life. Akashic Records uh, is a library of everything, place, thing, feeling, thought you've ever had of every life, of every step, every place you've ever been, of every life team you've ever lived. It is everything documented. It is the ultimate library of everything that you've ever done, felt, or thought. And you can access that through an Akashic Records reading. We're doing that inside the Make a Baby headquarters in our next round starting in May. Um, what can your spiritual team do for you? They can give you divine wisdom. What is your divine wisdom? Your divine guidance. Your divine wisdom is something that you already know, but maybe you haven't come to terms with or haven't seen the patterns for. Divine guidance is going to be different than divine wisdom. Divine wisdom is just the exact answer you're looking for. Divine guidance is going to be like the hints that you need to get to have the breakthrough where you realize the divine wisdom. Uh, you can get clarity on decisions. It can bring you more discernment, more groundedness in your decision. Uh, they can give you energy protection. I usually pray to my ancestors first and then Archangel Michael for energy protection. 
they can remove things from your uh, obstacles from your path. Um, you can say for my angels of love and light, spirit, baby, all things, spirit team of love and light, remove all things from my path today. I am dedicated to X to can accelerate your healing. They can help you move things along faster if you want. You have to give them permission to work on your ha- behalf um, to move things. They also can increase your connection to your higher self. Uh, you can ask for your connection to them to be enhanced. You literally can ask them for anything, but I suggest be specific, state your emotion, state the outcome that you're wanting or something better. So if you ask for 10 and then you get into a fender bender and then you get a check for $10,000, but now you're out of your car. So you want to say, I want um, I want to conceive my baby with ease and happiness and the most joy I've ever experienced and have a full term pregnancy and have my baby in my arms in the labor and delivery room and everyone's healthy or something better. Maybe there's something better. Maybe you get twins. Maybe you get twins. Maybe triplets. You can only be so lucky. So that's what I would recommend. Signs you are blocking communication or denying yourself access to them. When you don't recognize yourself as a sacred spirit, having a human experience. This is so common. When you're hot and cold in what you really want, if you're indecisive, if you're one in, one in or out. I had a client who wanted a baby. She was in this long-term relationship with a man she didn't trust. Her mother-in-law lived with them and she didn't have any privacy. So she couldn't even do Reiki um, without getting criticism. But so then she would say, I don't want a baby anymore. But then the next week she would want a baby. We ended up not conceiving because she couldn't make, get sureness in what she wanted. But that's just a symptom of a larger issue. There was a lot of things in her life that she couldn't make sure decisions about. So that's a good point for reflection. Like, are you hot or cold? Are you in or out? Like, what do you stand for? And again, that goes back to what is your truth in your throat? And what are you, what are you really feeling in your womb? Confusion also from a, blo- from a blocked crown chakra. Uh, you don't ask or invite them to participate in your life. You have to say spiritual teams, spirit babies, ancestors, spirit guides, angels, God, I invite you into my life and participate in my life for my highest good of love and light. Please be present. I want X, Y, Z. I command your presence and your participation and removal of obstacles from my life. You can use that exact wording or phrase it however you want. Um, You're not specific in your requests. I want a baby. Okay. What else? What are you struggling with? What do you, I want a baby and I want to connect with them. Please come into my life. Boom. You're staying in survival mode and never get into feminine flow. This is really important. So that's fight or flight. That goes back to a dysregulated nervous system. And that's really popular on TikTok right now. I have, I don't know if you've been on that side of TikTok, but it's super important to get out of survival mode so you can get into healing mode. When you're in healing mode, you're also in feeling mode. So you can feel your emotions. You feel your way through it. So we can decide if we're going to keep or release. We're going to release. And then you can get into feminine flow. And you'll know when you're in feminine flow when things get easy. Not all things are going to be easy, but then if when things get hard, you're also going to know you're going to be okay no matter what happens. Um, you still hold on to the narrative that you're not a gifted intuitive. My friend, if you're freaking here because you are you're listening to my voice, you're an intuitive. You're an intuitive person. You trusted your gut. You got here. Great job. So what are we going to do next? Trust yourself more. You're giving your power to external things instead of realizing you are the power. More than an oracle card, a crystal, a pendulum, or even the Reiki. You are the powerhouse. You are the power. You're the living vessel. I learned a long time ago that I'm not scared of the darkness or hell or even Satan or anything dark entities because I learned I'm the thing that's living. And fear is made up by human, by our subconscious, by our ego, of positive thoughts. And if I have the power to heal myself 
I have the power to make my lungs expand, my heart beat. I am the most powerful thing because I can change how I feel. I can change if I'm fearful of something or not. I also have consciousness. I can decide and decipher what can really harm me or not. So I don't give my power away anymore because I am the power. I am the life force energy. I'm a living breathing thing. And so are you. You are fertile. You are powerful and you are a living thing. You are a living creature. So you do have the power to communicate with your spiritual team. I can help you do that. We're teaching that inside the Make a Baby membership in the headquarters. I'm going to start with your Reiki attunement because the more activated you are and have the ability to heal yourself with Reiki, the easier it will be to connect with your spiritual team. With every Reiki attunement I ever got, the more connected I was to my spirit guides, the more that I could channel, the more accuracy I had in my channelings and in my message I gave to my clients. So if it weren't for Reiki, I wouldn't be a medium. So I owe Reiki everything. I want to know who do you want to connect with and what questions do you want to ask them? Shoot me a DM on Instagram and let me know who you want to talk to. Maybe I'll invite you on the podcast and we can do a live channeling. Wouldn't that be fun? Let's do it. Until next time, my friends, let the Reiki flow. Frustrated being told you are fine by your doctor, exhausted from negative pregnancy tests every month, wanting a deeper connection on your fertility journey with your spirit baby? The Make a Baby membership is exactly what you need. Using Reiki will help you connect to your spirit baby, heal the trapped emotions blocking fertility, and support you in our life-changing community. With over 90 Reiki babies, we invite you to try the Make a Baby membership for free. Check it out in the show notes. Let's get you pregnant.